Hello friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Minimal Mixed Media. This is the last process video using my How to Kill a Kit with Style for the month of September. So I do really hope you guys enjoyed it this month and if you're craving a little bit more I do have additional pages I've shared over on Patreon so you can always get more details, more inspiration over there and that link will be down below. But for today's layout, this is actually one of the first layouts I made with my kit. And it took me a while to upload it because there's a lot going on in terms of mixed media. So I wanted to make sure for this series we kind of ramped it up a little bit slowly. So on this particular page, I'll show you guys three different techniques that you could use together, individually, however you wish. But to get started, I started cutting out some banner shapes from some scrap pieces of the pattern paper from the watering can paper pad that's in my kit. And now I want to layer my photos on some pattern papers just to give them an inch border, a little bit of extra accent around them. And you'll notice I opened up this medium here, which is called Inca Gold. And uh, it's an older product, so mine is dried out, so you'll see me spritz it with water. But I'm just using my finger as a tool to add a little hint of gold, similar to inking the edges of your paper, but this time with this metallic bright medium, just to give it this rustic but also super fun look. And as you guys can tell, these are some Disney photos from us in front of the wonderful, wonderful roller coaster ride and this is in Walt Disney World's Animal Kingdom and uh, such a fun ride and the next option that I do for mixed media and I'm not sure this entirely counts but I'm going to struggle with my paint pen for quite some time and all I want to do is just draw lines around the outside of my layout and this paint pen is probably I don't know eight years old so it's definitely seen better days but I'm just running lines across the edges and you can do this with all sorts of mediums. It doesn't have to be a paint pen. It could be paint itself. It could be a gel pen. It could just be a marker. And I consider that mixed media because it is a paint pen. It does need a little bit of time to dry. And obviously if there's dry time involved, I'm considering it mixed media. And one of you made a comment that if there's any extra steps involved, you consider it mixed media. And I have to agree. If there's anything beyond paper, that's a different media, and therefore it is mixed media. So hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of this layout in which I will be doing a ton of embellishing. But before we get there, I thought, why not add a little bit more mixed media? And I pull out this Shimmers Paints Acritones in the color Licorice and a stencil from my kit, which this is the Tim Holtz plus sign stencil, and a sponge dauber. Now this is definitely one of my hidden secrets that I love to use. And if you guys didn't know, Acritones are actually paints, but they're self-priming acrylics, so they're a bit thicker than a normal acrylic will be. So if you guys haven't checked out Shimmer's Paints yet, I'll have them linked down below. They have wonderful, wonderful mixed media products, especially, I love the paints especially. So if you guys are looking for some more items to get yourself into mixed media, they're a great place to start. But just using some paint, and lightly dabbing in the stencil. Sometimes we go overboard with paint and that's when it gets messy and that's when it gets under the stencil where it's not supposed to be. So make sure you do light-handed when you're working with paints. Again, I'll have all of the products linked down below in case you guys are interested, but I had tons of fun working with all of those mixed media things. Even though they're smaller, they're not you know, taking up the whole background, they're not anything super special, it's still super fun to incorporate different mediums across your page. And now I'm sort of speed embellishing to make sure this video wasn't 40 minutes long, and I pull out a ton of the items from my kit. If you guys haven't seen my kit yet, you better go check out the kit playlist that I'll have linked down below so you can see the rest of the layouts I made this month because there were quite a few with this kit. Um, I also made several outside of this kit, so stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so you can see the actual kit wrap up here at the end of the month where I do the killer kit and show you guys everything that's left because your girl got some empties and I'm excited to share those with you. Before I got too far with embellishing, I had to bring out my washi tape bin and find some places to put washi tape. Now with this particular layout, I'll tell you guys, I did struggle. I've seen tons of banner layouts and I'm like, I can do that. So I decided to do this format. And as you can tell, there's this weird awkward space in the middle section. And you will see me fight with this for quite some time with different embellishments. And I pull stuff out from outside of my stash. I pull stuff out from, you know, this camping collection from Simple Stories because I thought, you know, camping goes perfect with a mountain. 
well at least the mountain section of the camping stuff goes with it. I try to just layer a bunch of tags. I really try a lot of different things but you'll see it come together here at the end and I really like how it turned out. It's definitely a bit different than things I've done previously and this is definitely one of those all of the things layouts where everything that possibly could be on this layout seems to be on the layout and again I really like how that looks out how it works out and eventually I pull out these shapes which are from Simple Story Say Cheese 2 or 3 and I pull out that ampersand, I pull out a couple of those things like the little phrase sheets and the word strips just to add a little bit of something and luckily those are cream based which goes perfectly with the pattern papers from the collection because the watering can paper pad is almost completely cream based so it works out well that I was able to pull in some cream based items, some that are not cream based, more white based, and just mix them all together to create this central cluster to help connect the two photos essentially without overwhelming them at the same time, which was definitely hard and definitely took me a very long time, hence why it sped up so much. But I end up using that ampersand from Simple Stories and those two camping die cuts from Cabin Fever and layering those on top of some labels from Freckled Fawn. Now for my title, I use this chipboard piece, which is from the Crate Paper chipboard in my kit, as well as a couple other chipboard pieces, like the arrow and the feather at the top left. Overall, this is definitely one of those hybrid layouts that just has a ton of different collections in it, and it just ends up somehow working, mainly because of the oranges and blues and nature color scheme with the greens and the yellows and the blacks and the browns, um, which really help come together. But taking color inspiration from your photos can be huge. There's orange and blue in both or in all of our outfits, and that helps create the pops of color throughout the embellishments and helps them make it work essentially. Here's where I have some fun with my Jen Hadfield sticker book. And as you guys know, um, Maggie Home sticker book is my number one fave, but I've been struggling to use my Jen Hadfield one. Now I am making some progress, but I definitely need to start grabbing it for more layouts rather than less. So you'll see me flip through here to find some additional pieces. I tuck in this tree, some heart stickers, some phrase stickers here and there, just additional pieces to add additional color, additional contrast, whatever it may be just to get some more items used up on this layout. I have definitely been on a whole, just a whole rut of essentially using up stuff. And it is something that's definitely propelled me to use more, to think about using more. And I usually did pretty simple layouts before, but I really love how these more extra layouts are coming out and being a little bit more maximalist with my style. It's also super fun to mix and match these kind of things and just try to see like, what else could I add before it gets a little bit too over the top. And then I want to finish my title. So right now it just says Journey, but as you can see, the mountain's in the background. So I'm going to call it Mountain Journey, as you can also tell from the title of this video, which is super fun. And I do have to mix capital and non-capital letters, which is the bane of my existence. But I wanted to use these October afternoon teal stickers just to bring in another pop of that light teal blue color because it's in several spots on this layout already. But we're not done just yet. I wanted to do stamping on this layout. I know, guys. I meant all of the things when I said all of the things. So I used this Dear Lizzie stamp set and add a few of them. Thinking of it now, I should have used the Disney stamp, roller date stamp that I have and added some. But I really love how these turned out. Just to add a little bit more to that grungy na natural look that I wanted. And another simple mixed media step that you could do if you guys are interested in just dabbling a little bit is some splatters. So I pull out my brand new Dilutions black ink. I think it's called black soot. I'm not 100% sure what shade of black this one's labeled, but this was my first time opening it. As you see, I struggled to open it and I'm so glad I finally got to use it. I really like the flat look that it ends up having when it's dried and you won't see that in this particular video, but if I post this one over on Instagram, you'll be able to see it there. But whenever you're splattering, make sure you cover up whatever you don't want to have splatters on it, whether it's a specific embellishment, like here I'm doing that specialty paper, and make sure that you're splattering on a flat surface. A lot of these shinier surfaces or specialty paper surfaces will not dry very easily and you don't want to end up smudging those. So either picking those up with a spare towel or just not splattering on them at all or letting them dry a very long time to make sure that you get a clean, non-smudged look. 
But that is the final step for this layout. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a ton of fun to work on something that was so crazy busy with several mixed media techniques, whether you ink the edges of your pattern papers with some paint, like I did with that ink of gold, or did some stenciling with some acritones from shimmers, or just added some splatters, or you do some paint line pens, paint pen lines on the edges of your borders. I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. This one was super fun and another Disney one done for the books. But here's all the close-ups of the details you might have missed since this was a quicker process video. But I do hope you guys enjoyed and give it a thumbs up if you did to let me know. And make sure you leave a comment down below with which one of these mixed media techniques you're most excited about. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!